Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's better. The first one didn't have the same off to it. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're out of practice. You feel better? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel amazing. Move, oh. move up here. Oh, God. Oh, you know what I forgot to do today? What'd you forget? I didn't take my drugs today. Oh, no. No. Wait. Uh, what? I think the pizza's here. That's okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's, Let's go. go. Turn up the volume. The volume. The volume. To the basement of the Empire State. This is the Basement Surge with John and Frank. Welcome back to the Basement Surge. Frank, how you doing? I'm growing a beard. <laughs> we look a little different. <laughs> we look wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, everybody, uh, for a brand new episode of the Basement Surge. You could, you know, you, if you're watching this over on YouTube, you can see that there's something a little bit different about Frank and I. We are in Valhalla. <laughs> I know I died a warrior's death. I'm just upset it was on the toilet bowl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That fucking eggplant got me, bro. <laughs> it got me good. <laughs> you know why? You know why? Because I made it with pecorino and the fresh ones. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I died, and now I'm here. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, if you're watching us over on YouTube, do me a favor: hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and Frank, you must ring the bell. <laughs> that is. See, now I know why we wear the headphones. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Is that what that feels like? That's what that feels like. Oh, God, that's terrible. <laughs> I like it. But, uh, yeah, ring that bell. Give us, a, give us a sub. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you are listening to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or any uh, podcast listening platform, do me a favor. Hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, do something. Hit a button to make sure you get notified whenever we come out with fresh episodes. Get all the right buttons. That's not the kind of button I was talking about. <laughs> That's why I'm going to take off my helmet But uh, in this episode Frank and I are going to be going over What we're streaming right now and, and what we're looking forward to Most of all Coming out pretty soon And we want to know what's in your watch list Yes, so uh, as we talk about our uh, Watch list uh, head down to the comments, leave us some comments, and let us know what you're looking forward to. Okay. Even if you leave a comment, hey, Frank, GFY, uh, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who knows me better than me? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got an arthritis in my left wrist, and I'm right handed. Go figure. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. He's ambidextrous. I am. <laughs> so, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. I'm doing great. Uh, I actually, uh, what did my buddy put me on to? He put me on to, uh, well, you, you know me. I'm a big, big anime fan. Yes. So uh, I'm watching Demon Slayer. Okay. Demon Slayer is all the fucking hype right now because Attack on Titan is ending. Yeah. And Demon Slayer, just like the first season is 26 episodes. Wow. Yeah. That's like a normal like television season. Yeah. And each episode is like 22 to 24 minutes long. Nice. So it's it was it's really enjoyable. Um, I recommend you watch it in Japanese. Sub, sub is the way to go, because you get all the right dialogue. Yeah, I, I watched Full Metal Alchemist, uh, the whole series, uh, with English subs, you know, with dubbed uh, English subs, not in, no, in, sub. in yeah, Chinese. In, in yeah, in Japanese. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, Demon Slayer is hot right now. It really is. Uh, I'm a big fan of Zenetsu, which is the thunder breathing guy. Cause uh, just to give you a little thing. It's like um, the demon slayers. They're uh, they they they're a whole. There's a whole group of them. Yeah. And each one has a different breathing technique. Okay. All right. In this show, it's about breaths. You know, one guy does beast breathing. Another guy does flame. Another one guy does water. Another guy. There's this one dude called Zenetsu, and he's a fucking coward. I love him. <laughs> I mean, he's such a fucking pussy. He really is. He he's got no spine. He thinks. He thinks he's terrible and he's gonna die at any moment. He he just die, except he has this this uh, this disability where when he's asleep, that part of his mind shuts off and the part of his brain that was trained and honed to perfection comes alive. Oh. So when he's asleep, 
He's a beast. Wow. Okay. But, but my man's only got one bullet in the chamber. Just one ability is called because he does what's called thunder breathing. So he does this thing called thunder clap and flash. All right. Thunder. Yeah, we're gonna pull up a clip for you to watch, right? And you'll check it out, and it's gonna be incredible. Mm. <laughs> But he does it. He has one move in the chamber. That's it. One move that he's polished to perfection so much that he could do it six to eight times in, in one shot. Oh, wow. And he is fucking amazing. I mean, I love. Then the Japanese voice actor for him, I give him credit because I'm not a big fan of like whiny characters. You know, people yeah, complain a lot no. and everything. And the way the guy does it is that his voice is not so irritating mm -hmm. where it'll bother you. But. I don't know. I just like him. The main character Tanjiro is great. He's mm -hmm. he, he's cool. His voice actor, everything. He's just cool. I just I like Zenetsu because he's just such a coward. <laughs> he really <laughs> is. He makes me laugh because the sound effects. I think you know he turn, he gets like the blue eyes and yeah. the, the waves on his head. He's like no 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 no. Oh he's, god. He, he's scared of everything, bro. But when he turns it on, beast, just straight up monster. <laughs> That sounds like a good show. I mean, I'll check it out. Oh, it's a great watch. It really is. Uh, the first season is on Netflix, mm -hmm. and then the next uh, two things to watch are on Hulu. Okay. Okay. Uh, just uh, FYI, everybody, uh, if you can hear a lot of banging going on, a lot of kids screaming, that's because there are a lot of children upstairs above us right now, uh, and they seem to be having a good time. For the so, record, mine doesn't run around yet. Yeah, not yet, but mine are. Those and, are all yours. Yeah. So but see, I brought mine <laughs> over, which excited yours. Right. Yeah. So it happens. It's partially my my fault. I'll, I'll take about thirty percent, thirty five percent. Yeah. So, but I'll try to clean it up and post. But um, Frank, I just got done. What I know this is like. What are you looking forward to? Like coming out? Mm -hmm. But I just got done watching Reacher. And how was it? Because it's on my watch. It's it's on my watch list in yeah. Prime. <laughs> it's actually on there. <laughs> It is, I think, the best version of Reacher that anybody's ever put out. Okay, but did you not enjoy the movies? I enjoyed them only because you know, they were kick-ass. I, I like good action movies. You know, I like Tom Cruise. Like I, I like I, Tom Cruise too. But it, it's if you're a hardcore fan of the books, because it, there's something like 27 books. I heard about Reacher. that. It's a huge series, and and he's supposed to be different, right? Tom Cruise. Well, I mean, I mean, he's a good actor, but. Yeah. Uh, the actual characterization, though, Reacher's right. described as you said, bigger. He's huge, like in the book, like he's a big, like overpowering, muscle bound guy. Really, you know, and that's not Tom Cruise. And no. in fact, when Tom Cruise's Reacher first came out, a lot of people who are hardcore fans of the books, they didn't like the movie, yeah. you know, because it, Tom Cruise isn't what Reacher is supposed to look like. I know, but but also, I mean, Reacher is supposed to be this big guy, but he's also. He tries to avoid violence, though, at, at most times. Not well, yeah. I mean, in in the show on uh, on was it Amazon Prime? Yeah. They um he he's pretty violent. He likes hitting people with the elbows. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's got that. He's got that like Navy SEAL training, you know, where he's got the he uses it oh like. Oh my god! All, it, it's it's really good. Like yeah. you, I know you uh, haven't seen it yet. I only saw yeah. one clip from yeah. the show, and that was with um, the dog being abused. Okay. The guy had a dog, and he and Reacher kept coming to, to like see the dog, yes. to see the dog. Yeah, yeah. Re- Reacher, uh, he gives the guy a little punishment. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love when a when a bully gets his just deserves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, the series altogether is great. Uh, I I love the series. Like I, I really hope it, it was already renewed for a second season. Oh, that's good. Uh, but I really hope that they keep going with this. Like I said, that there are twenty seven books. And I really hope that they just make like a season out of all twenty-seven. They just oh, keep on, going, dude. How good was how good was the show twenty-four? We only got like eight oh, yeah. seasons, nine seasons. I know, yeah. but still, um, you're you asking know, too much. The only thing that I didn't like about it was, I mean, call me insecure about my body, <laughs> but okay, well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll touch on that one later. <laughs> but uh, but like throughout the whole se- season of Reacher, like every opportunity he had to take his shirt off. He, he took did. it. He took it. He did, yeah. Okay. Like gratuitous, like just taking off a shirt. I know, but we can't complain about that. You know why? And I was like, like first episode in, like he's topless, like maybe like half the episode, you know? And like I, I turned over to my wife and I'm like, I'm feeling a little inadequate right about now. <laughs> but his thing though, she, we can't really complain about that because how much titties do we get on a daily I know they, they show a lot more women than they do men in movies and stuff right. like that. But you know, it's just, it, it, it was, it was a little much. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, <laughs> the guy worked hard on his body, you know, he wants to show it off. He wants to let the ladies know, you know, you can have this. He know? recently, uh, I think his name is Alan Richson, right? And, uh, he recently did an interview on, uh, inside of you with Michael Rosenbaum. I, I like that. Podcast. I love that podcast. I love that okay. podcast. Okay. Um, so Michael Rosenbaum, if you're listening, we love your show. Great yeah, job. Dude. We love what you're doing with it. Uh, keep it going. Uh, can't wait for next week. All the throwbacks, man. Yeah. But, uh, but he was on, uh, inside of you with Michael Rosenbaum and like he came clean about what the process was like making Reacher. And he said that basically the whole season had to be shot. He had to work seven days a week. Like they overworked him to get it done because something about the funding of the show uh, was going to expire in July or something of last year. And uh, so they had to get it done before then. And the only way to do that was to work seven days a week. Damn. And at the same time for the role, Ah, it disappeared for a second. I'm sorry. (laughs) Another. And at, at the same time for the role, he had to put on 30 pounds of muscle. I'm like 30 pounds of muscle. 30 pounds. Yes. That's a lot. 30 pounds of muscle. I mean, that's some Chris Evans fucking Chris Hemsworth shit. He said he was, he he was, he was up to 235 pounds. Shit, man. I'm 208 pounds. And this guy was ripped. Ripped. (laughs) I mean, I mean, would you sleep with him? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, he's a good, he's a good looking man. Yeah. (laughs) Now I gotta watch it. All right. For all my D and D nerds out there, for all my friends out there, right? Another show on Prime. I think it's on Prime. Yeah, it's on Prime. Vox Machina. That sounds familiar. Vox Machina, man. It's really, really like uh, swords and sorcery themed. Okay. You know, it has that 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 D and D Shannara feeling. Mm, I like. It's Shannara. animated. It's animated. If you liked Invincible and like the way Invincible was made and done and and stuff, you're gonna like this. Trust me. Watch it. You'll enjoy it. It's great. All right, I'm I'm only two episodes in and I'm loving it because I have a bunch of stuff. Me and my wife go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like we finished watching Peacemaker, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. In my apparent personal opinion, the Peacemaker opening theme ranked top ten best openings ever. The Justice League made an appearance, didn't they? Uh, spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the actual guy from the movie, Aquaman, Jason Momoa, and uh, Ezra Miller, Flash. Yeah. You see the silhouettes of Wonder Woman and uh, Superman. Superman. Yeah. yeah, but you don't. Know, but it's not them. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, <laughs> it was him this time. Yeah, I, I think you, you know what? what? I think our audience has listened to us long enough to to know that we spoil everything, we spoil everything and we don't care. Listen, so. my man Henry, <laughs> my man Henry could not be there because he was doing The Witcher, which season two of The Witcher, Witcher was so good. But he, th- he he's not Witcher anymore. Oh no, that that's that that's fake news. What do you mean it's fake news? They 
Then he, he had to quit or something. Well, they fired him. Something like They're that. They're not firing him. You crazy? That was fake news? I, I, I got to look that up now. I'm pretty sure it was fake news. I don't think so. Ah, uh, dude. I don't think so. Dude. All right? So good. I think... I cannot th- wait. I think they, they had to uh, let him go because of his filming schedule. Bro, I mean, I'm so excited. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, if these guys were smart, they would literally bend over backwards, exorcist style, and fucking deep throat Zack Snyder's fucking huge <laughs> fucking cock. Jesus. All right? <laughs> and make him, and, and beg him to come back and finish his vision. This is what I get for giving him Red Bull. Ah! <laughs> I'm fucking ready. I'm fucking ready. He pumped me up, man. You drinking the winter edition pomegranate Red Bull is really good. It's so good. The coconut berry is personally my 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 favorite. The really? White, the white the coconut berry, love it. I don't like yeah, that one, dude. I, that, I that's because that's because you didn't have the pineapple vodka mixed with the coconut berry Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't be. drink vodka. I'm, I'm, I'm a man. I, no, no vodka. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's is it made from like you know, isn't like a, potatoes? Yeah, yeah. yeah I say it's the Jew in me. I got like the vodka. Oh yeah, and I'm Russian also. So it's like, <laughs> it's like this light. This is good drink for you. You put here in chest. It's very good. Real man drink vodka. But oh my god. So yeah, Reacher was great. Um, no, Reacher sounds good. I mean, Peacemaker was great. John Cena was. I should funny. watch that, but I, dude, you so. I mean, he wasn't your typical John Cena. I, I wasn't a big fan of the uh, the Su- movie, the Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, the Suicide Squad movie. I mean, the best part of the Suicide Squad movie to me is Margot Robbie because I think she is just Harley Quinn. You know, right. kind of how how, in my opinion, how I felt like Henry Cavill really embodied Superman. Yeah, like Harley Quinn is just one of those actors that that you chose. To play a character and they just embodied it. Yeah, I agree. Um, Harley, she is the perfect Harley Quinn, but the voice. I don't yeah. I, right, but I don't. I didn't like the writing of the movie. That's what it. That's to me what it was. Like, like I'm a big advocate, a big fan of Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Yeah, I just feel like the screen, the screenplay, let him down. I don't know. I like Tom Holland better, but you know. <laughs> well, see, this is what the argument. Kind of comes in. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Andrew Garfield's suit, yeah, incredible, yeah. much better than Tom's. Mm-hmm. And Andrew, Andrew Garfield, Garfield, better than Tom's. His suit. Tom yeah. got it from Iron Man. He's Iron Man Junior. Okay. All right. Andrew's the fucking man, self-made. <laughs> also, also, he's the most comic book. Every person I talk to, everybody who's a big comic book fan knows that Andrew Garfield Spider Man is the most comic book accurate Spider Man. The way he moves, the way they CGI'd his web slinging. I didn't. I didn't see the newest Spider Man, so don't give, don't say any spoilers because right. I really want to see it. What? No way home. Yeah. I mean, you. I don't. What spoilers don't, are there? Don't do what it. What spoilers are there? Don't do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> what spoilers are there, people? Is it Frank's turn? <laughs> I should get like a little sign. Spoiler. <laughs> the basement surge is brought to you by Ninety Nine Designs. If you need website banners, logo designs, graphic overlays for your live shows, social media posts, anything you need designed for any purpose, 99designs is the place to get it. And if you're the creative type like we are, then you can make money as a designer on 99designs. That's right. Go make that paper. So if you're a real estate agent, entrepreneur, pizza maker, or a podcaster, you need something designed, head over to 99designs and meet your next creative. And if you are the creative type... Sign up, make some money. Click the link in the show notes and sign up for 99 Designs. So yeah, Peacemaker, I'm going to have to watch. Yes, watch the opening on the first episode. Just just, just watch it once. Yeah. It's just so fantastic. Um, you're going to love his friend, Vi- Vigilante. Everyone loves Vigilante. What is it on, Netflix? Uh, HBO Max. HBO Max, okay. That's on HBO Max. What else? Uh, the King's Man. <laughs> Which is the prequel to Kingsman? Yeah, that's on there. That's on the. That's actually on on the watch list tonight for me and Jamie. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we watched the Eternals uh, last night, mm-hmm. which I enjoyed. I really did. It was out of the norm. Um, it wasn't the superheroes you always see or always know, always know about because you know these guys are different. You're dealing with it with the Celestials, and they really put that shit to scale. Yeah, like there's one point in the movie where the Celestial comes to Earth, and you see his fucking head in the whole goddamn horizon of the planet. <clears throat> wow. And 
Literally, he is so massive that he can literally hold our entire planet in his hand. Like Galactus, right? He makes Galactus look like a bitch. <laughs> all right? He would fuck Galactus in his ass, <laughs> bent over fucking Jupiter. All right? Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it was really good. Um, I was really upset. Uh, um, sorry, upset that they didn't give my man Dane Whitman, who's Black Knight, uh, a lot of screen time. He was played by Kit Harrington, who's Jon Snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't. I was I was upset they didn't give him a lot a lot of screen time, but they really set him up for the next movie. Mm. Uh, another show that I've been watching that actually just came back because we had watched season one. Uh, it just came back last weekend. Uh, the wonderful Miss Maisel. Have you heard about this? And and you talk about my manhood at times. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's you, hilarious. You could seriously take that hypocritical dildo and shove it right up your ass. <laughs> the show is about this woman. Uh, uh, it's it, She's a religious Jew, right? And she she uh, she lives in New York, here in New York. Uh, and it, it's based around her and her family. Uh, her husband leaves her, divorces her. She He cheats on her or whatever. And she winds up being becoming a stand-up comedian. And it takes place in like I think the sixties or the, yeah the the sixties, <laughs> but uh, but she becomes a stand up comedian and she t she talks like you like she's crude you know and, I love it <laughs> and she talks about like inappropriate things and, and especially for the sixties especially for the time you would think that would insult me but it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> but um and it's a really funny show like the dynamic between her and her family uh, because at first they don't know that she's becoming a stand up comedian and. You know, they're they're more interested. Uh, they're like a typical Jewish family where they're more interested in getting her married off. You know. Yeah, I know. So, but it, I I've been telling you for years, Jewish humor. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> well, she is hilarious. <laughs> like, if you're not watching Miss Maisel, uh, I think it's Amazon Prime. Uh, Another Amazon show. Huh? Yeah, Amazon's kicking ass in this episode. Today. Yeah, so you guys really should be watching. It's a really good show. You know, like like when I'm riding the train, I'm still catching up on uh, Arrow and Flash. That's what I'm watching. You're still watching those things? I'm still, I listen. I have to finish. I have to finish it. I started it. I have to finish <laughs> it. You know, I can't leave it half ass. I know. You know, like I, I watched all the Criminal Minds. I watched all of Dexter. I don't watch Dexter wow. New Blood yet. I haven't seen a new one yet. I've seen the old, the, the old one. Yeah. I, I can't leave it unfinished. I can't just let it sit there. I like that they take things off my watch list. Though, you want to hear some shit? Jamie has never seen the Blade movies. You know, you told me something last time you were here that oh, really disturbed me. Oh, yeah, let's get it on. Oh, my okay. God. <laughs> See, when she listens to this part of, of the episode, I am not getting laid this night. <laughs> All right, everybody. So Frank comes up to me last week and tells me, she, he goes, you know, Jamie's never seen Forrest Gump. I was like, what? Yeah, we love that movie. What? <laughs> we fucking love that movie. I couldn't believe it, you know. And uh, Dan, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I really do. Something Lieutenant, bit me. Lieutenant Dan's got new legs. <laughs> I love him. I love that movie. And you know what? It's in um a Netflix series, the movies that made us. Oh really? Forrest Gump is on there, and they go through how because everybody and their mother has seen Forrest Gump. Like but I don't they go understand. through all the trials and tribulations of making that movie. Did you know that that Tom Hanks and Robert Zemeckis actually funded that movie themselves? Really? Because the studio didn't think it was gonna do good or do anything. Wow. So when fucking Forrest Gump hit like fucking eight hundred million dollars, Tom Hanks and Robert Zemeckis were like, I did that. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Forrest Gump is such a, a pivotal historical movie. Oh, it's great. It goes through how many decades? What does it go from the from the fifties? Fifties, the sixties, seventies. Yeah. It goes all the way up, I think, till like to the eighties, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because Je Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I fucking hate Jenny though. I love that movie, but I fucking hate Jenny. So Forrest Gump should be on her watch list. For no, Forrest Gump is on the list. Uh, I have it on Blu-ray, so she's gonna watch it. Today, go home and watch it. <laughs> I bet I want to watch The Kingsman. It's not going anywhere. It's all, it's only streaming up to a certain time. Forrest Gump, I own. God. I've been addicted to watching Blue Bloods. Never liked it. No? No. I'm surprised. You're, you're like a, a cop. I know. You're almost I, a cop. I, know, I am. <laughs> right? Would you like me to shoot you on fucking camera to prove Just it? Just because they give you a gun don't mean you're a cop. All right? <laughs> I got the credentials too. <laughs> But uh, I mean, one of the reasons why I did watch that show a couple times, we watched it at work. Blue Bloods? Yeah. When it's on, we watched it at work because it's fucking Magnum, bro. 
I, I'm fucking, like, I love Mac now. The mustache. I'm, oh, I'm, my God. I'm going to grow my mustache. Now, right? oh, listen, only him and Burt Reynolds can rock a stash. <laughs> Those are the only two motherfuckers who can rock a stash, especially Mac. I've seen a lot of interviews recently because, I, like I said, I'm binging Blue Bloods. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of interviews with Tom Selleck on, on YouTube when he does the late night shows. Yeah. And uh, he seems like a real, like, down-to-earth kind of dude, you know? Like, he's not one of those people who are looking for paparazzi. He's not looking to promote anything. He's just, like, he's just no, chilling. He does, he does his thing. He's just chilling. Even you know? when he was on uh, Friends back in the day, because uh, since I've been with, with my wife, she loves Friends, yeah. loves that show. We've went through the entire season, like, mm -hmm. four times already. Yeah. Just because we play it in the background for background noise. Sure, yeah. And, I had it on the other day. Yeah. And... <laughs> I will admit, there are some people who say, you know, watch Friends without the laugh track. Not all of it's funny. Mm. I can agree. Not all of it is funny. Mm. But Chandler, most of the time, 90% of the time, Chandler fucking hits. <laughs> Chandler hits home. Yeah, I, I, and I felt bad for Matthew Perry because you see the fluctuation in that poor man. Yeah, you the do. Whole show. You do. You see when he's off the drugs, he's looking healthy and shit. And then there's this one season. I don't know which season it is, but he's really thin and he has like a goatee. It was towards the end, yeah. You know, like um, I told my friend uh, at, at work, I said, I said, watch the episode where Monica proposes to Chandler. Mm -hmm. Matthew Perry, Chandler is like chunky. Mm -hmm. You know, he's healthy looking. He's not chunky, but he's, he's healthy looking. That's the season finale. The next episode, which is the season premiere, mm -hmm. right? He's super thin because he's back on the drugs. Yeah. And great show. And Ross... Ross is a whiny fucking cunt. I hated Ross. He annoys the shemmy, <laughs> but you cannot deny the fact that that man begs bitches. <laughs> he begs so many bitches. They were on a break. They they were on a break. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. They were on a fucking break, but but you at least let it roll twenty four hours. You don't you don't go out and fucking beg a pee. because if you're on yeah. a break with your girlfriend and then six hours later you're balls deep in another girl, she's gonna think you had that shit in the chamber already set up. He he started dating that Chinese girl, right? After Rachel. Yeah. Uh, I forgot Emily? Her. Was it Emily? I don't know. I thought Emily was the British girl. Oh. I don't know. Well, Julie? <laughs> Julie. Was it Julie? I think it was Julie. I don't know. My my wife is the friend's uh, savant. She yeah. knows them all. She'll probably rip us a new asshole for not watching this and not paying attention to this. And she hasn't watched Forrest Gump. So get on it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, everybody. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Me and Frank, you know, we're like peas and carrots. Okay. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for more awesome episodes coming out of the basement surge. We have a lot of things planned. Uh, the Let's Play series is still going on. Yes. Uh, only I've taken it to Facebook, Facebook Live, Facebook Gaming. Okay. We are part of the Level Up program on Facebook Gaming, which means when you watch our live shows, you can donate stars now and help fund the basement. <laughs> Just 10 cents a day can feed this man. <laughs> That's right. I think actually, I think one star on Facebook is equivalent to like a penny. Yeah. yeah. See, so come on. <laughs> so <Good> fun. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of work, but hey, I like playing games. So does he. Yeah. And, uh, I can't wait to get back on the Warcraft. We're having so much fun with the Warriors. Oh, yeah. We've been playing WoW. Duo Warriors, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> we don't need a healer. <coughs> we just we just die, kill shit. That's it. We don't need a healer. If one of us dies, the other one will kill it. My buff. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. We will see you next week. Let's go. Turn up the volume. The volume. From the basement of the Empire State, this is The Basement Surge with John and Frank.